Hi, I am Dr. Sharjeel and today I would like to present you a very interesting case of this 18 years old male patient who presented to me with sudden decrease of vision for the last one week. Um, he said that there is no history of trauma or drugs intake um, and the vision is not that much reduced but the quality of vision is very reduced. The colors appear dull, the light appears dim, there is a central dark spot in the vision of the left eye and he also, he was an intelligent patient, he told me that he feels pain on movements of the eye when he moves his eyes from right to left or from up to down. His vision was 6-6 six, six in the right eye and 6-18 six, in the left eye. As you can see on torch examination, mild relative afferent pupillary defect is evident in the left eye. On that, with the torch, I checked the light brightness, and he said that uh, the light of the torch is very dim, fell feeling in the left eye as compared to the right eye. So there was decreased light brightness as well. The other uh, optic nerve function that I performed was color vision I told him that tell me compare the color of the red cap and green cap and tell me now he said that with the left eye the red the color is red but it is very weak very dull uh, grayish uh, red color whereas with the on the right eye it is very bright red color same was the case with the green so he had red green dyschromatopsia as well on fundus examination uh, the right fundus was normal and the left optic disc was swollen edematous optic disc so i diagnosed this patient as a case of left optic neuritis and of papillitis form. I performed labs, ESR was raised, but there was no lesions on MR. MR was normal. Usually, the most common presentation of optic neuritis is retrobulbar optic neuritis. Uh, with a normal optic disc appearance but in children and young adults uh, you can get swollen optic disc the third ophthalmoscopic presentation of optic neuritis is neuroretinitis so contrast was also reduced blood pressure was normal so all these features decreased vision relative afferent pupillary defect, red-green dyschromatopsia, decreased light brightness, decreased contrast sensitivity and central scotoma with optic disc edema and young age all lead to the diagnosis of optic neuritis and pain on extraocular movements. So I started IV methyl prednisolone sodium succinate 1 mg per kilogram for 3 days followed by oral prednisolone 1 mg per kilogram for 11 days i will assess the patient after two weeks and here you can clearly see the optic disc the swollen optic disc appearance on indirect ophthalmoscopy oral steroids if started without prior iv steroids increases the chances of recurrent attacks of optic neuritis so always first start iv steroids so that was an interesting case of papillitis form of optic neuritis in a young 18 years old male. Thank you very much.